Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect spot for our new ship. But hey, everyone, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me here on the Lionheart server. We are looking at episode 18, I do believe, and uh, I'm getting the itch to build a, uh, a ship here, like a medieval kind of ship. Our, our, uh, our little base area, our new kingdom, I don't know what to call it quite yet, but it's over here a little bit. And I am very excited for um, the future of this place. So as you can see, you can see some of the torches. There's a butcher shop. So it's pretty close. Um, we're going to eventually be knocking this whole thing out. Uh, that'll be fun. I think uh, with our beacons. Uh, as you can see, let's let's see. Can you see them? Oh, you can't. But they're over there. Trust me. Uh, we have four beacons over there, actually. Uh, they give us all the jump speed and all that we need, but we'll we'll be able to take this thing out very quickly. Um, so I am looking forward to building this thing now. I'm going off of a like a, almost a tutorial off of um, like a picture where it shows you layer by layer how to build it. So we're going to be building it this way here with the front over here. It's going to act like it's kind of docked. Uh, we're also going to kind of chisel away this a little bit and then build out a deck and this will be our port as we call it for our goods and services and stuff like that so i'm going to go ahead and get the materials like, all gathered up now i'm going to start a time lapse you should hear, hear the music kicking on anytime now and we're going to get uh, we're going to get rolling building this thing so i hope you guys do enjoy it i'll be back once it's done
Alright, so we got this far. Um, the reason we got this far is because they don't have enough wool to go for the sails. And I'm pretty sure that I want to have them like rolled up. Um, but this is how far we got. This is, we're in shaders again. Um, just because I love looking at builds and shaders. I mean, what could be better? So, yeah, I showed this to Psychotic Butcher last night. It's pretty cool. It's been a few days since I've actually built this. Um, that's been pretty fun. And there's still that problem of when your elytra are activated, I think. Yeah, you can't get up a ladder. So, yeah, so this is what we got. I'm going to do a little bit more detail work on here in a little bit. Like, nothing today, nothing too spectacular, but I did switch these out to oak. Um, so there's a little bit of contrast here. I've been playing with some stairs in here. I really do like this look. So, yeah, uh, this is going to be our cargo ship, kind of like it's bringing a whole bunch of cargo into the city. Um, so all this is basically will be my bulk storage area. So I'll keep all my cobblestone in here, um, stuff like that. I'll have a whole bunch of chests and stuff like that. When barrels get added, 1.14, it's going to be a flipping blast. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do was knock these out. And uh, I've been watching a lot of B00's videos lately. His old ones where he's going through uh, building his castle, and I just I love watching those because I always get so inspired after I see them. Like, yeah, let's go build a castle. And then I'm like, oh, crap, this is actually really tough. And he makes it look easy. So, I mean, all in all, I, I really enjoy, you know, watching him. But, uh, man, that guy's a good builder. I mean, he's at the, like, six years ago building that's, like, where I think I am for him. If that relate, if, if you guys understand what I mean. But, uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, here, I wanted to try something. So if we go like this. Because this is a ship, and like that, is that lined up? Yeah, it is. We're going to put these here, you know, give it a little bit more structure. Okay, I think that works. I think that works. And you still have enough room over here to walk, and this is where, like, a big bulk is going to be. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to leave this open or if I'm going to close it off like so. And we'll still have that opening there because it kind of looks like they're like it's still supporting. Uh, I think this wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, we are out of spruce wood here. Let's try to make some more. So let's see here. So like this, like that, that kind of works. Um, it, it's got a little bit of detail, but not too much. I also want to go ahead... Ooh, that might look weird from the bottom, though. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But we'll also... Oh, hold up. I want to keep that there. I bet if we put a upside-down stair there... Oops, that was weird. I bet if we put an upside-down stair, we could probably get some good... Uh, 
Make it feel a little tighter if that makes... Oh, oh, rip the dream. Okay. Yeah, it's still, you don't bonk your head on it, but it does feel a bit smaller, and there's a bit more area up top. That's cool. And then if you guys were watching the time lapse, I'm going to actually put some stairs going down here into this area, and this will be like the sleeping quarters. Uh, but I need to go get some sponges first, and I might have just screwed myself. Um, we can fix this pretty easy if I just do this. Oop. Yep, there we go. So I'm really, I really do like this this thing. Uh, you know, we're obviously going to have a lot more. I was talking to Butcher because you know I run a lot of ideas by Butcher. You know, see what he thinks because he's a you know he's a big fan of the channel and I'm a big fan of his. So he's also a creator. So we we often run ideas by each other. I was just talking to him like you know it would be cool to have you know like a big ship coming in and then you know like so, like another big ship maybe over here somewhere. And then right over here, just like a little tiny sailboat, and then like a raft out there it would be kind of funny, like, you know, a survival raft, just to show that, you know, it's the ocean, you know, stuff like that. So, I think it's pretty cool, but um, there's something I wanted to show you guys that I think is fan flipping tastic. You can, with shaders, you can barely see the kelp come up, and I think that just looks amazing. I'm going to plant a little bit more kelp down there. Um... And I, I need to figure out a way to limit the kelp from growing. And I don't know if you could do the string method because I don't know if string can be placed underwater. I need to look into that. You know, for like sugarcane. But we need some more kelp over here. And we need less kelp over here, if that makes sense. So just... I forget how you break it. Oh, this is the kelp. Yeah, that's right. I'm not breaking kelp. I'm breaking the seagrass. So let's see. Yeah, see, I was kind of barren over here. It's so cool having all these fish in here, too. I love that so much. But, like, from underneath, this thing looks amazing. So we just place some, like, here, and the stuff will eventually grow up. I don't want to place it too much. Uh, and we're also not going to do any, like, sea cucumbers or anything like that over here. I want this to be as dark as possible. Uh, yeah, so that, that'll, that'll turn out pretty good, hopefully. If you're wondering why I'm playing in shaders, it's because shaders is amazing. And now we're going to go talk about some of the, the ideas I have for the castle area. Okay, so here's the castle area. Uh, I have two towers here that I'm not, I'm not going to keep where they're at. I'm going to move them. So I, I just want to, you know, almost brainstorm what I'm going to do in this area. Because I think this area, if we do it right, it's going to look phenomenal. Um, you know, I'd like to have like to follow the train so you know have it come out here but then have it have like some structure kind of kind of go into this little corner here so it kind of goes in and it kind of bows out a little bit and like the walkways up here but then I want like part of it to be within the actual wall you know I want the, like a few towers here and there so I don't know if you guys have any ideas for this this castle village area please let me know down in the comments if you guys uh, if if I like your suggestion and I'm like, yeah, we're totally going to do that, I will put a villager in there for, like, say, the butcher shop, right? Um, say if you were the one who came up with that behind the counter, uh, I will put, like, a butcher villager, right? And uh, it'll be named your name. So it will be like, hey, look at that. It's so-and-so. He was from a turtle. From He commented on this and, you know, stuff like that. So if you guys want to do that. Um, you want to be in the video, have like a shout out, um, shout outs, by the way, you get from Patreon and doing that too. So anyway, wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, but guys, I will see you next episode when we tackle some stuff in the castle, hopefully. Bye-bye. Okay.